back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make my version of the floating mailbox valentine using all items from the Dollar Tree. Yes, you've probably already seen this on Pinterest and various other social media websites, and this is very similar in manner of making to the floating teacup that you may have seen on my website. So stay tuned and I'll show you how to make it. All right, y'all, let's get started. So first off, let me explain something here, why my wine glass looks like this, because this is the second time that I have attempted to film this today. Because right when I sat down to do it, my kids were in there wanting to play Minecraft and the surround sound kicked in and it was so loud and I had to go tell them to be quiet. So this is take two and I'd already got to this part. So that's why my glass is broken right now. But anyway, you've probably seen these floating around on Pinterest out there. The, um, the monkey holding the mailbox. This is my version. So first off, what you're going to need, you're going to need one of these little, any kind of container from Dollar Tree, really. I think they have some uh, like cardboard ones. This is a metal one. So I grabbed this one. You're going to need one of these little mailboxes. Now they come in three different sizes. They have a big one and then this medium sized one and then a small one. I got the medium sized one. You're going to need whatever candy you want. I got four bags of these little fudge hearts. You're going to need one of these little monkeys, of course, from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using some glue dots as well as my hot glue gun. You're going to need one of these plastic wine glasses. I also have some of these sales ads from Dollar Tree. You're going to need a pair of, oh Lord, <laughs> that was from cutting pipe cleaners. You're going to need a pair of heavy duty wire cutters. So now, first off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the lid off of this. And we want to put this wine glass inside this container. Now here is the heart shape, of course, the, the left round part and the right round part. I want this wine glass to go in the left round part. So first off, what you want to do is take your wire cutters and just find a little, a little corner. I didn't go all the way in. I just did a little corner on this wine glass, plastic of course, and I clipped it because I want to try to take at least half of this off so that we can attach the mailbox. And that's why it looks like this. So I just snipped a little piece off. Now for the mailbox, we want this part to be all the way open. So I'm gonna put some hot glue right here just to hold it open. Oh Lord, I went too close to the edge. I'm a woman on the edge, too close. So now let's just glue that so that this is gonna stay open. Because, you know, we don't have a whole lot of room to work with here. We want this part to be as open as possible for the candy to come out. So let's just glue that there. And I'm going to set this off to the side and let this glue harden up. Now let's move on to the wine glass. What we're going to do is we're going to put our wine glass in our little container. And this flat part here is actually going to go right along here. See that when you put your mailbox on top, you don't... If you would have left this on here, it would have stuck way out like this. See, way over to the edge. So by clipping that little part off, you give yourself a little bit more room for the mailbox to actually hang down for the candy to come out, if that makes any kind of sense. But first, you can use E6000 around the edge and just glue it down, but I wanted to give it a little bit more stability. That's where the sales ads come in. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put some hot glue inside the wine glass, just shooting glue everywhere. And then I'm just going to cram this down inside. Be careful, please, so that you don't burn yourself. <laughs> hot glue is hot. I'm just gonna cram this down in there. And see, that gives us a little bit more of a base to glue down inside of here, okay? That's why I did that. So I'm putting a new glue stick in my glue gun because I just used a bunch of it. So I'm just gonna put a bunch of glue and I know I gotta wait for this stick to melt a little bit I'm just gonna put a whole bunch right here just try to drizzle it around all over the bottom here yeah I need to wait and let this let this glue melt just a little bit longer so you know what I'm gonna pause the video right here while y'all cram your glasses with the paper <laughs> I'm gonna let the glue melt a little bit more and then we'll come back and then we'll stick it down and do the rest. Okay, so I got plenty more glue on here and I just stuck it down. 
You can see here I glued the mailbox onto the top part or if you want to do it backwards you could go ahead and glue your mailbox down so that when you put it into your tin you know you can angle it and make sure that you know you have it to where the opening of your box is coming down to where you have plenty of room down here to put your candy. All right so now we're going to take monkey boy here and we are going to cut off all of his little tags because he has tags he has been labeled let's cut all of those off <laughs> when i was at the dollar tree earlier getting the supplies for this the uh the cashier that always checks me out she's so nice she's looking at the stuff she's like so you're crafting today i'm like yeah she's like i don't know what you're gonna make with all this but i bet it'll taste good <laughs> So now what we're going to do with the monkey is we're going to do something obscene. We're going to spread his legs and try to bring one leg around like this. Oh my God, boy, let go of your leg. There's Velcro on his little hands and it makes it aggravating. <laughs> bring it around like this and then I want one leg kind of hanging out the other side. Bring one arm around the glass and up the side of your mailbox like this. See how it came around the glass and up the side. Now we're gonna glue that hand. Don't worry about him flopping around. We're gonna fix him here in a minute because we want his hands to be like this. So that looks like they're holding the mailbox. So just bring one arm around to the side here. I know this is hard to see, I'm sorry. And then the other hand we're gonna put right there and we're gonna hot glue them into place. Oh Lord. My glue got stuck on the lid there. Sorry. I'm just gonna put a big blob of hot glue right there on his little monkey paw. It's the curse of the monkey's paw. And we're gonna glue it right there. Now for the glue dots, cause we're gonna be gluing some candy in here to make it look like the candy's being dumped out of the mailbox. We're, uh, you can use hot glue if you want to, but you know what, hot glue and chocolate they don't really mix so um that's where the glue dots come into play <laughs> i'm going to use the glue dots to attach the candy all right so now we're gluing his other little hand here and we'll try to lay this down for a second so that you can see some crafts are just hard to get on camera you know okay so now it looks like he's hanging on then you're just gonna have to work with him I want one leg here and I want to put another blob of glue right here on the side of his head and I want to stick him to the mailbox all right there now you're not going to be able to take this apart once you put it together like this he's not going to come off and stick him just like that yeah you know how monkeys like to like to grab things so that's why I want his little legs to be kind of like one on one side and then one on this side to look like he's actually you know hanging on for dear life <laughs> and we'll put a blob of glue on one foot and i'm just going to wrap that leg around the container like that and then we're going to come around here to the other leg y'all can see this i know this is such a bad angle and i apologize i'm going to wrap that around like that Okay, so now you have your mailbox stuck into your container and you got Monkey Boy here hanging on to it, looking like he's dumping out the candy and we're going to glue our finger. Look at that. Now, let's get the hot glue gun out of the way. Here comes the glue dots. I get these at Walmart. And these are, I think these are the medium sized ones. I don't know. I don't know. One half inch. That's the size. Half an inch. So now what you're going to do is you can put a bunch of candy into the bottom here just to fill it up. And now that I'm looking at it, I probably do not have enough candy. That's okay. So that was two bags of that candy to fill that up. And they don't look like they're wrapped very well. But hey, it's Dollar Tree. So now let's take another bag of candy. We're going to, I ain't even going to attempt to open this with anything other than scissors dump it out and now let's get some of our glue dots here and if you can see this if you've never used these before they're just these clear little dots of glue <laughs> they're very very sticky so you can just take one 
stick to the back of the candy and then we're going to just stick it right there on that mailbox let's see where are they they could be hard to see all right let's get another one and now this can be a little time consuming if y'all have seen my tutorial well i didn't make a video for it yet on the floating teacups this is similar to the floating teacups it's, you know you just do the same thing only this time it's with candy and now we need to cover this glass down here so we're going to take the candy just start sticking it to that wine glass just like that you can use whatever candy you want. Hershey Kisses, these little hearts, <laughs> Tootsie Rolls. I saw a Dollar Tree had some Valentine's Tootsie Rolls. Oh, Lord. Like I said, these are very sticky. Then just start sticking it all over. And the purpose is you want to cover this glass and then have some of the candy here. And then put some right in here. And then you want them to kind of like cascade down like this to make it look like he's dumping it out into the bowl. So I'm going to work on that for a few minutes and I'll come back and we'll see what we got. Okay, so now we have another angle here, but this is what I have. And I do need some more candy because I didn't have enough to cover the back of the glass. So the back is not all that pretty. I mean, you know, you could paint the glass with some acrylic paint before you get started if you want to. But yep, that's what I have. There's my messy table, y'all. Look at it. There you have it. Your little monkey boy who's pouring his candy out into the dish. So, if you would, please, please give this video a thumbs up, click subscribe, check me out on other forms of social media, the links to all of which will be in the description box down below, and I hope to see y'all next time. Bye-bye.